Good morning, everybody. Welcome to worship on a Sunday that looks more like Christmas than heading into Easter, doesn't it? But it's nice to be in a warm sanctuary, and we're glad that you're here to share with us this morning. And for those of you who are joining us online, welcome. We're so glad you're here. As uh, I share just a few announcements as we're opening up our time together, uh, for those who are here, if you get on your cell phone, if you have one with you, and get up on a Facebook page for Monroeville United Methodist Church, you'll see the people who are streaming, uh, and just welcome them, say hello, and those who are online, if you would say hello as well. One of the things that we've discovered through this COVID time is there's lots of ways that God keeps us connected. We're glad that, that you're here. Uh, this morning, we have a great opportunity to welcome a new young child into the family of God. And so I want to welcome Patrick and Patrick's family. Hello there, Patrick. You ready? He looks ready. So are you guys ready? Good. Okay. <laughs> so we'll have a time in the service where we'll come up and, and we'll celebrate uh, the, the, the birth of baptism, of, of our recognition of God's love for us. This service is about that, about how God walks with us, calls us back, welcomes us home. So there are a couple things as I'm talking. If you're here and would like to help us out, there are pew pads on the inside of the pews there by the aisle. If you could just take those, pass them back, and just sign your name uh, and whatever is pertinent there, uh, that's really helpful for us as we stay connected with you through the week. Um, also, I want to remind folks to take a look through the bulletin. There are a lot of new opportunities that are there. Uh, there's a book study that's co or books uh, study that's coming up. Uh, from our seekers class. There's an adult ministry survey there that uh, we're looking to see what you would be interested in learning and growing and how we can better help you to, to grow in your faith. Be sure to take some time with that and drop that off. Um, Vacation Bible School is coming up and there's a whole lot of ways that you can serve and help in there. Also, we have uh, our mom, MIM, uh, well, MUM Cares. Uh, and MUM Cares is our time where we collect uh, articles for our Garden City Food Pantry next door. Uh, there still are many families that are in need, and next Sunday we'll be making that collection. So as you come to worship, uh, if you bring some things with you, you'll notice there's a shopping cart there by the doorway as you come in. Just drop those things off there. Um, and if you'd like to donate online, you'll notice on the donation tab there's a place there for Garden City Food Pantry. They do the distribution the following week, so our help next week will help them the following week to meet the needs in the area. I know there is one other uh, announcement that will be coming, and that's going to be from our confirmation class, but I was told that that's afterwards, right? It was, it was 